What a guy's name is Sam, welcome back. Long time no fucking see, not like anyone's watching anyway, but it's not the point. I'm back on YouTube, decided to make some videos again now. Um, I deleted a previous video telling me that I was sort of coming back on the scene because that was just a total lie. And I didn't want to, to be honest, I didn't want to like air my mental health out on the fucking website with a psycho girlfriend, you know, apparently watching it and getting really offended. <laughs> I'm back here doing YouTube now. I get more doing more vlogs and stuff. I want to get some more movie, like doing movie type things. Basically the same thing I was doing last time, but I definitely want to push on the vlogging type thing. Um, so I'm back. I'm starting a brand new series, which is sort of tied into the whole vlogging thing called My Tattoo Journey. Sounds fucking cringe, I know, but um, as you probably may have just seen, I have a tattoo in my hand. That's not getting a tattoo. I have done around. Um, so I decided, because I'm like a big advocate on like tattoos and piercings, it's always been like the thing I've been interested in. To. And if you take it back to an old video, I literally put, um, I was literally talking about how I wanted tattoos, but my parents would never let it happen. Do I have a tattoo? No, but I do want to get tattoos in the future because I'm very big on the piercing and tattoo scene. My nose piercing was the first one because my, my parents aren't big on piercings and tattoos, so it took me a while for me, for me to convince them to get a nose piercing. Um, but they really don't agree on tattoos, so if I, they said to me if I want to get a tattoo, I'll, I'll move out. And I'll... Well, I sort of let that happen. I sort of like pushed its, pushed its limits and it, it happened. Um, their small mum was like okay with it. She didn't say anything bad with it. But on the other side, like my dad was just like, no, he still does not like it at all. But uh, he's, he's basically accepted the fact that it's my body and I can do what the fuck I want with it, so that's what's happening. So I have got like another two tattoos. I've got one big one and I've got like and two small ones, um, which I'll show you in a second. But this is pretty much the start of a new series that I'm calling My Tattoo Journey. Um, so in this first groundbreaking episode, I'm going to talk about what tattoos I've already got and what tattoos I've already got planned and booked in, and uh, then we'll go from there. Um, this is only maybe like a quick first episode, Just this is basically like a talk through of what I've already got and what I'm getting and the next episode will just be me getting those tattoos um, and me talking about the experience and then me doing like an overview of the tattoo shop that I went to, personally did it and just a tattoo in general. Um, so that is pretty much this new series that I'm starting. I, I was literally so like stuck on ideas what to do for videos so I wanted to do this thing because like I just said I'm a big advocate on like tattoos so I thought this would be the best way to to start off YouTube again is by showing you guys my tattoo journey because I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I'm not gonna get like one or two tattoos and not never get tattoos again. Like when I say I'm a big advocate for tattoos, I'm a big advocate for tattoos, like I will not stop. Um, the only problem is I do have like a full time job. So I can't sort to the like, I do have limits. Um, I can get away with this tag on the hand because it's small, it's not like big. Um, the finger tattoos, um, they, they can get a pass where I work, but I don't particularly want to push the, the big hand tattoo just yet, just because I'm scared that I won't get away with it. So I'm not going to push it that far just yet. But let's not yabber on and let me show you what I have already. Um, already is this rose on my hand. Um, it's literally a walk in. I was out with a mate, um, got bored and we saw his tattoo shop in uh, the place that we met up at and he said that walk-ins were available so I walked in there so I said if I can get um, a tattoo done today. I said no initially um, but the dude behind who did this was sound enough to fit me in, um, fit me in between the client, between two clients so um, I was managed to get there. You know, it took half an hour but he did a great job. I asked for a rose, he, he said can I draw it in my own sort of like des style design, I was like yeah go for it. He came back within like 10 minutes and drew this up and I was like for a 10 minute draw it, good job man, good job. And I'm going back to him uh, later this month which I'll get to later on in the video. Um, so yeah I had the rose in my hand, symbolism, nothing really at all, I just really like roses. Um, especially like all black roses, I don't know why but I just love them. It's hence my goal. I'm getting another black rose in the future as well on my ribs. But I haven't booked that one in yet. Booked that one in just yet, but I did get a quote for it. So hopefully in the near future that will get done as well. Right, the next tattoo is a big one. Well, and it's not actually completed yet because it's a sleeve, it's a style of a sleeve. Um, but this is basically the first um, brief tattoo script that was on the roll. 
but I'm going to stand up for this one. So this is my arm tattoo, this is going to start with a sleeve. Um, funny enough, this top, top part here was designed by my cousin. She didn't tattoo it, but she uh, designed it. Uh, we worked together, and she does it at work, and I fell in love with it, so I asked if I can get it tattooed. And she said, yeah. And I got it tattooed by a friend, uh, a poison apple called Fran. So, Fran, if you're watching this, thank you fucking very much. But yeah, she tattooed this, and she did a fucking amazing job. So, it's basically like mandala, and I think it's like, it's dot work and geometrical lines and shit. Uh, and black work, so it folds around the back as well. But yeah, that's, I, don't, I can't remember the flower of this now. I, I remember getting told many times, but these blue flowers down here are roses. I can't remember, it starts with a T, I think. Fran, if you're watching, please please let me know what this flower is called in the comments. But yeah, um, but yeah, this is the actual initial start of uh, what's gonna be become a massive ass sleeve. And I've actually got uh, a tattoo booked, booked by Fran as well on the 13th. Um, of October to get this part work done um, so that'll be more of a, a sleeve soon enough but yeah that's my biggest tattoo and experiences colouring gear horrible uh, if you can like confirm this uh, Fran I was I was like squiggling like a little bitch when she was doing the colouring it was horrible um, but when like she finished and she's like go yeah, take a look in the mirror and I saw it and I was like that was so worth it it's like a, a mountain of relief just left my body and I was like that's amazing um, so yeah but if you're looking to get any tattoos or you're like thinking about it you, you know you can't go in with the mindset that oh I don't want this to hurt because it's gonna hurt some places will be better than others on your body to get um, tattooed so for instance pain level on this it was it's okay but if you're sitting like for a full day uh, sitting and you know your skin's getting fucked over, I know especially with colouring because colouring is such a I don't know how to explain, it, but it's like a, a lot of work doing into it. Um, then it's gonna hurt in, like in the in the in the in the, the, uh, the near time of you sitting there, it's gonna end up hurting whether you don't find it hurting that much. Anyway, I would say like the first initial tattooing part for 15 minutes is a bit stingy and sharp and uncomfortable but once that 15 minutes is gone your body sort of becoming like sort of numb to it and used to it and you sort of block out the pain you don't really feel anything now the other tattoo that I have is literally here and I have like a massive video let's see if I can get it out oh yeah okay so here I have an axe um, it looks stupid at the moment but it's gonna be like a running theme so this one sort of does have meaning behind it. Um, I love games, like I'm a massive gamer, as you probably already know. And I wanted to get weapons down this arm um, from my favourite games and weapons that I use in like, my favourite games. Now, a big genre that I love when it comes to gaming is zombie games and like survival stuff. And when it comes to gaming, I always pick up an axe to fuck people's days up right? and zombies' days up. I always pick an axe, it's just my go to weapon. So I thought that would be a great start to start the gaming arm off um, with an axe. The next will be a Fallout uh, 3 10mm pistol underneath it. Then the Call of Duty Zombies Ray Gun. Um, I'm getting some daggers done as well. But I think the daggers might go on my hand. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, so that it's pretty pointless at the moment. But um, I kind of like it. Maybe it's like a cool goofy tattoo um, as an axe. But by itself it looks stupid I know. But it will soon develop into something a bit more. Spectacular. <laughs> right, so that's the tattoos that I have done already. Um, so let's talk about the tattoos that I'm ha I have booked in October time. So, the first tattoo that I have booked in for, for definite is on the 6th of October and I'm getting this done. So, on the 6th I'm getting this tattoo done here. Please focus. So it's like a knife with a uh, barbed wire going around it. And that is going here on this arm right here. Um, the plan for this arm is not to be like a sleeve like this is going to be. Like my sleeve, this arm's going to be like covered in a whole sleeve. Whereas this one's going to be dotted work. And it's all going to be black work. Like I, I love black work, solid black work. And this is like that arm's going to be dotted with just different designs. I don't want, I don't want it to be a sleeve. So it's going to be like different um, like black work design. So that's the tattoo I'm getting done there. The next tattoo I'm getting done in the month is on the 13th of October. Um, and this is getting done by Fran uh, here. 
Now this is not the actual design, this is just a reference design of what it might possibly come out and be like the, you know, what might, what might it turn out to be. But I'm getting an elbow piece done um, of a mandala piece to sort of like fix in and connect with uh, my arm piece. Focus you motherfucker. Hey. On the 27th, this is the biggest tattoo I'm getting done on uh, in the month. And this is not going to be on my arms. Um, it is going to be done on my chest. And this is quite a big piece. Now, yet again, this is just a reference picture of what um, what I wanted to turn out to be. It's not the exact same design, it's not copying, but it's basically a reference of what I'm having done. So it's basically an owl on the chest. It's quite a big piece. There we go. It's quite a big piece. Um, with it being a chest. Uh, I was going to do the same with my arm when it comes to body tattoos and um, just dotted work, um, which it still is going to be, but I wanted a piece of my chest because I couldn't really think of a design, different designs to put here without it looking pretty weird. So I thought I might as well go with that whole owl piece. Now I've always loved owls, like owls are just majestic as fuck, man. I just love owls. Um, but there is a little bit of meaning behind owl tattoos, and that's. Um, I think I remember reading up on it, it was like owls live in the dark and they're magical and they bring on good luck and wish and shit like that. Um, so I suppose it has some sort of meaning, not personal meaning, but just a little bit of meaning that I could tell the old people ways when it comes to the people who, you know, don't really care about meanings and know the real reason why people do get tattoos is uh, that I just like an owl. <laughs> now I do have a leg tattoo, but that's not booked in yet. Even though I have paid the deposit for it, there were some complications of when I was gonna get it done this month, September. Um, but I had to cancel. So we are still figuring out um, when to get it done. It'll be in, in a weekday, so I don't, I'll don't. i try and get some footage of that um, happening. But um, this is a leg tattoo. Now this is uh, something that means a lot to me. It's going to be a portrait tattoo of my favourite artist um, that died in November last year um, and he meant a lot to me um, through music. I didn't know him personally but his music meant a lot to me um, and when he died it was, it was horrible. I might as well just tell you now, it's the, of the um, music creator Little Peep. Um, Little Peep died of a, a drug overdose um, but his music meant a lot to me because I could relate to it. Um, so I decided to just get something, get him his face tattooed on my leg as a, a reminder of, of him as, you know, he's never going to like leave my body. I'm always going to love his music and so I'm just going to show you the design now. If it's going to focus. See, there we go. That's going on my leg, on my left calf. So that'll be fun. That's a full day sitting. Um, but that's not booked in yet. We're trying to figure out a day when we're both free. So pretty much, yeah, that's, that, is, that is the first episode of my tattoo journey. I've showed you the tattoos that I have. I think I do have a little bit of footage of this tattoo getting done. Only a small little bit though, um, which I'll try and put in the video here. So um, thank you guys for watching, hope you can uh, tune in for the next episode of my tattoo adventure. <laughs> Start trying vlogging more, um, I'm trying to book Paris for December with me and my girlfriend and I'll try and, I, wanna, I really want to vlog that because it's my first out and going adventure so I really want to like, vlog it just for my memories and just vlog it. I'm back doing YouTube again, I feel good about myself, I feel 10 times better about doing YouTube and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next episode, thank you guys for watching, see you later. Oh yeah, I have a lot of little shitty stick and poke tattoo down here that my girlfriend did when we got bored. I also have like a little cross on my finger here. <laughs>